Today, I'm leaving the comfort of my own home to go live in a luxury semi-truck. This is about to get trucked up. Is that dad joke approved? All right, perfect. You may have seen van life, RV life, but I'll be introducing you guys to the truck life. Meet Alex Nino, the man behind the wheel of one of the most insane semi-trucks you'll ever see. This $100,000 luxury truck comes with a gaming setup, a kitchen, a bed, and so much more. I'm going to be spending the entire day with him to see what it's like riding in style. All right, if you're wondering why I'm ducked down, we see the semi-truck parked over there. So Alex knows that I'm coming, but he travels a lot with his son who is a huge, huge fan and he didn't tell his son what they're doing today. So his son has no idea that I'm gonna pop out and spend the entire day with them. Let's go. Dude, look at the steps. Yeah, open the door. Hey, Michael. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> he fell back, he fell, he fell back. back. Yo, what's up, man? Nice Hi. to meet you. How are you? Give me a hug. Give me a hug. You playing Fortnite right now? Yeah, oh. Eminem. Oh, he got Eminem, bro. Slim Shady. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. That's awesome. Let me show you guys a little tour. Let's go. Of everything. So he just turned off the PlayStation, but he was back here. This is a generator this right here. This little generator right here. Okay. And then right here we got the little PlayStation. I got there. the PS5, bro. And up there, say if you're an Xbox guy. Well, we got an Xbox for you guys too. What? <laughs> hey, I'm a PS5 guy. I'm a PS5 you guy. Already know, you already know. You already know. Up here I got all the little snacks. Ooh. We got some hot noodles. I already see the bulldog, bro. Bulldog noodles hit, bro, bro. bro. Oh, no way. What is that? <gasps> Japanese <gasps> A5 Wagyu. No way, bro. Y'all living good. Bro, and then my little my little kitchen setup. It's this little thing right here. Dude. So this is technically my little kitchen right here. I grab this. Dude. Please tell me we're cooking some Wagyu. Bro, of course, bro. <laughs> of course, bro. That's this why, is that's actually crazy. It, bro. Michael, that was good. I told him, I was like, hey buddy, what if I told you that we weren't, because I told him that we were gonna go to work. He's like, what if I told you that we weren't going to work, but that I had a, a surprise for you? Uh huh. And he looked out, he's like, there ain't no way. What if I told you that we weren't really here to work and that I have a really cool surprise for you? What's out there? Ain't no way. Ain't no way, Susie. But I told him, I was like, no, it's not, I'm just kidding. I was like, he lives in San Diego and he thought we were in San Francisco. No, it's not him, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I pranked you. I'm sorry, buddy. This whole day, bro, he's been thinking like, oh, we're just waiting for our load to be ready and, yeah. this, and this and that. So when you came, he was like, ain't no way. Hey, we here, Michael. Let's go. We're going to take Rug on a little trip. It's not the most comfortable. I don't mind. I want to see how you guys live, how you guys have like a day in the life. Oh, there's a dog. Hi. Can I get a photo? Yeah, sure. All right, there you go. Nice to meet you, bro. Have a good one, okay? Take Thanks, care. Bro. Dude, look how short I am, bro. You think you're short. Oh, bro, we're like the same height. No way, we're let's go. Bro, bro short kings, short come on, kings, you already bro. know. Short All kings. my short kings and queens out there, stand up. Show yourselves in the comment section. <laughs> I was asking Alex how he uses the bathroom if he desperately needs to go in the truck. He's got some kitty litter. Got some kitty litter. This is a little portable toilet. If I absolutely have to use it, it's a little dirty right now. It doesn't look like this. <laughs> I got cooling all over it. But if I absolutely have to, I have a little bag. I dump the kitty litter in there and I go to work. You gotta go. If you gotta go, you gotta go. All right, you gotta make it work. It's either this or in your pants. Exactly. I think what we should do is we should hit a truck stop because, you know, in the trucker life, you were saying that some people might stay there for three, four days depending on when their load is ready. Yes. Some truck stops have movie theaters. They have to be able to wash their clothes. Some of them have barbershops. No way. Yeah, barbershops. Get a little fresh cut yeah, while you're waiting. Hey, I don't know if this is just me. You kind of remind me of Sherman. For us? I don't know. Do you see it, Noah? Kind of, a little bit. For us? Yeah. A little bit, yeah. All right, let's hit the road, guys. Can get my booster seat real quick? <laughs> Bro, honestly, I respect <laughs> that. Especially in a truck <laughs> like this, bro. If you're not tall, you're gonna need a booster seat, exactly, bro. bro. Alex was showing me how he films his TikToks and reels. Can you show him real quick? Cause yeah. that's so sick. So I have this little like mouthpiece. Dude, that's and it crazy. And onto my phone and I put it in my mouth. If you guys are ever wondering how you see those TikTokers always show their hands, sometimes they use that. This is how I record all my videos. We were talking about this. Sometimes you don't need that professional, expensive equipment to do what you want to do. Like, you just got to make ends meet. A you know? lot of people think like, oh, I have to go and spend $2,000, $1,000 on no. equipment just to make it work. And then sometimes it won't work and you're in debt with that money. Exactly. So like, that's why I was telling him, I was like, at the time when I first started, I wasn't making a lot of money and I wasn't able to buy a GoPro on 
the spot or yeah. like that. So I had a phone that records good and it had a little rubber band for it. And he put the rubber band in his phone on his forehead to record. Yeah, and I, I, I couldn't see what's in front of me. I could only see from my peripherals. Man, that's really inspirational. Are you sure you don't want it? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> that was a joke? No, yeah, it's, a, it's an ongoing joke. I thought you were for real, bro. <laughs> I was like, yeah, bro, don't worry. Bro. <laughs> you know, I've never been in a truck like this. Ever, ever? Ever. And bro, the cool thing too is... Oh! Wait, how high up? So before we get on the road, Brian, I made something for you, bro. What? I made you this little certified trucker hat. Oh! And by the end of the day, depending on how I see that you're doing, it's gonna determine whether you get this hat or not. No if way! Not, you gotta eat the spicy noodles. Deal. Spicy noodles. Listen, Deal. I wore this hat because I wanted the trucker vibe, but I want that hat now. We'll see. We'll see by the end of the day. All right, you gotta show me the ins and outs of being a truck driver then. I got you, bro. I First you. stop, a real truck stop. Let's go. Let's go. Now that I'm in a truck and I know a little bit more about the truck life, the amount of trucks that I was seeing is crazy. Wait, like, yo, wait, there wait, are some lit ones here, bro. Yeah, yeah. This green one looks That's insane. That's crazy. That's a hurricane truck. Everyone always talks about these trucks because they always have them all lit up. Do a lot of people sleep here? Yeah, you see how they have their curtains closed? Yeah. They're asleep. Dude, just getting down, bro. Oh, I got you, bro. Hey, hold up. Bro is dripped out. He got beat in Madden so bad. Wait, he beat you? It yeah. was a close game, well, actually. He got 13, I got 15. So you lost? Yeah. So you're lying. I'm lying. Get him out of here. Michael, take him out. Oh, Alex, you were saying this is where you shower? I shower here. If I really want to, I can wash my clothes here. But this is your first time at this truck stop? Yeah, it's my first time at this truck stop. So I don't know exactly what they have in there. Let's see, we're gonna find out. Dang. This is where I tell you guys, showers. <laughs> And laundry. and laundry. Bro, it kind of smells like Old Spice. It smells <laughs> good. And then down here, you got the laundry room. Whoa, that's actually sick. Laundry. One rule always at gas stations, I know there's a truck stop, but I look for chug rug. It's not looking good here, bro. Are you guys hungry or should we save it for the Wagyu? I say we save it for the Wagyu, but we have to get a slushy. What's your favorite flavor? Coca-Cola? You're one of those? I, I don't like Coca-Cola, bro. Coca-Cola slushy. All right, let's get it. My favorite always since I was a kid was blue raspberry and red cherry mix. Yo, so Michael, who do you like more? Me or Simplistic? He thought exactly. about it, he thought about he it. He did think about it, <laughs> he did. Uh, Noah, what flavor do you want, Habibi? Do cherry lime. Stop, wait, that's actually good. Blue raspberry, stop, and then top it off with lemonade. Oh, that's a slushy. What do you want me to top it off with? Lemonade still? Pink watermelon. This watermelon. Wow. Wow, look at that. What should I top mine off with? Cherry lime. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Pretty good. It's good. It's not walk worthy though. It's not walk worthy. Guys, the way I actually found Alex on TikTok is everyone was tagging me in a video where he did the phase rug walk. And I'm like, we gotta make it happen, and we need a phase rug walk today. Yep, we, we have to. It's mandatory, bro. Look at this. Can we get two of the classic rolls? Thank you. YouTuber? Yeah, yeah. This is my YouTube name right there. Phase rug, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, oh let's go. God. Nice to meet you, bro. Oh, Thank God. you. Hey, successful truck stop. Guys, we're actually like one exit away from Mexico. I think we might just drop them off. Wait, drop me off or come with me? No, drop them drop off. Them right? off. No, 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 off. no, we're all going together. <laughs> come on. Step one of being a truck driver, stopping at a truck stop. How was that? I thought that was pretty good so far. Did I fit in though? You fit in and I feel like you're a little bit closer to getting that. That certified that, 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 trucker? That certified trucker hat. Let's go, okay. Hey, but I am getting kind of hungry. I think we got to make some food in the back of the truck. Okay, and yes. I have the perfect thing. Yes. For test number two, we're going to see if he can handle being in the back of a truck because I get motion sick pretty bad. And Noah, you were sitting back here on the way here. <laughs> yeah. Was it bad? Dude, I never get it and I thought it was pretty bad. I actually feel a little sick and we haven't even moved. Okay. Oh, are you gonna make yourself sick then for sure? <laughs> okay, okay, well, let me get comfortable it's at placebo. least. placebo. Hey, I did not get sick. I'm not gonna lie, like, Michael was talking to me the whole time, which helped me, you know, like I was locked in on a conversation. I do have to say, Michael remembered so many of my old <laughs> videos, bro. Like oh, you yeah. are really one of my biggest fans, bro. Aww. Well, now that I know I'm not sick, I'm ready to eat. And this is how Alex 
cooks it up back here in the truck. Whenever I'm in my truck and I have to cook in the back of my truck, I love using this little thing right here. And it's so convenient. Switch it on right here. And literally this thing gets hot in like seconds. So my question is how often do you find yourself cooking back here? Whenever I work, for sure, I always cook in here. We need yeah, the sizzle. We need the sizzle, ready? Woo! ASAP, it did it right away. Let's Perfect. go. Perfect. Woo! Okay. This one's Perfect. already talking to me. It's telling me flip me. Oh yeah, you could see it. Look at that. Wow, perfect. that is perfect, bro. What's your like motivation to work in general? Something that motivates me is my kids. I have three kids at home, and I feel like they're the reason why I still keep doing what I do because it gives me something to want to give to them. So I know that if I'm doing something, it's gonna benefit them. That's oh. amazing, bro. All right, cool. So what's your favorite part about being a truck driver? Doing all this, like being able to pretty much make this into my home away from home. And I'm able to be comfortable enough to be able to cook in here. I can play video games in here. Bro, oh, I'm still doing my job at the same time. Facts. What's the craziest thing that's ever happened to you while being in this truck? Uh, there's this one time where I was sleeping in Oakland and um, I had this, this homeless lady was banging on my door saying that she needed help. She was screaming that she needed help. And right when I was about to open the door, I guess I took so long, she went into a white van and then she went to the next truck I was doing the exact same no thing. No way. Couple trucks down. What yeah. do you think her plan was to I rob you? I feel like you? her plan was either to rob me or maybe, who knows, yeah. maybe kidnap me? Dude, that is that, terrifying. Then that would be horrible. Because were you by yourself or were you with? No, I was, I, was, I was by myself. Dude. I feel like people always think, like, when they see truck driver, they think money right away. So sometimes, like, they might rob them. They might have the bad intentions when it's not always like that, you know? I was going to say, like, are they right about that? Like, do truck drivers make a good living um, for anyone out there that wants to be one? You can for sure make a, a, a pretty good living off of this job. Maybe not right away. So, like, there's a lot of people, too, that think, like, as soon as you get your job, you're going to start making money quick. Everything takes time. Everything takes time. Just just like with YouTube, all this stuff, everything takes time. Slow you just gotta, Yeah, you just got to slowly, slowly and steady wins the race. Exactly. Hey, should we taste test this? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Bro, Bro, no, that's good. First ever meal in a truck. What do you rate it? You wanna know what I rate it? Excuse me. Michael, I'm just gonna have to step out real quick, bro. You're uh, stepping out too? I'm stepping out too, bro. <laughs> Guys, it was walk worthy, okay? You became a truck driver, yes. and then you started doing content around truck driving, but then you kind of made it your own, you know? Like you decked out your truck, you started doing a lot of cool content. If you decided not to be a truck driver, uh -huh. what would you have been doing right Ooh, now? I always think about that. I don't know what I'd be doing. Before I even started truck driving, I had lost my job, and that's why I started truck driving. If it wasn't for truck driving, I don't know what I would be doing. Because I was doing YouTube like in 2017 with my family, and it didn't work out. So once I got my license, I was like, you know what? Like, that's it. Like, I'm, I'm never going to do social media again. It's never going to work out, especially with being a truck driver. Like, who's interested in that? And then look at now, a couple years later, I'm almost at 2 million subscribers. Dude. And we're, I'm here with you, bro. Yeah. You're the GOAT. Dude. Thank you, bro. The GOAT from truck driving. Noah's right there, bro. Like, this is, <laughs> this is freaking crazy. I never in a million years imagined sitting here cooking with you bro but i was gonna say too like it's cool to know that you thought you were just gonna be a truck driver and you accepted that right but the fact that you were able to make more out of it is honestly inspiring because you just thought you were gonna be just driving the truck yeah, every day i thought that was gonna be the rest of my life i probably like you know what maybe this is just what i'm gonna do for the rest of my life maybe i'm just gonna own a truck one day that's as far as i'm gonna get and then this happened so there's always room for more exactly regardless if you feel like that's the max you can get there's so much more you can do in life than just doing one thing exactly all right guys we just finished cooking up some delicious wagyu what do you think about me cooking in the back of the truck did i look like a professional truck driver doing that you look pretty solid in the back man i think you would definitely pass as a truck driver in the, the cooking portion in the cooking sure. portion can you show me the hat again for motivation you're literally one step away so you said we're going to Target right now? We're gonna go to Target and we're gonna give back. This is why I love you, bro. If you're able to do some deliveries for some good stuff, then you'll officially get that hat, bro. Let's go, I like that. On our way to Target, baby. All right, guys, we have made it to Target. It's time to give back, bro. Let's go, bro, let's, let's do it. Best thing about this, giving back to the community. What's up, Chase? What's good, bro? Is that your little bro or cousin? It's Sherman. Oh, dang. Yeah, man. <laughs> have you ever met Sherman? No, I haven't. I'm Sherman. Hey, nice to meet nice you. To meet you. <laughs> bro, see, you can pull off Sherman, bro. He's <laughs> Michael was saying that I should join the mullet gang. Instead of crazy rug, mullet rug. 
Mullet, mullet rug. Left phase, join mullet. mullet. <laughs> you know, you be making deliveries all the time. I say we just buy a lot of stuff and we make our own deliveries. Like a lot yeah. of random stuff. Exactly, you're gonna help pick stuff out, okay? Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna grab a Nintendo Switch as one of the items. Hi, uh, can we grab a Nintendo Switch? Yeah, we have the regular Switch, we have the lights and the OLED. Which one do you want, regular? regular. All right, cool. We're buying a bunch of stuff to give back to the community. We we're wondering what the next item you think should be. It could be anything from Target. $200 oh. Target gift card. I like that. Pretend your phase rug. Pretend your phase rug. Go. Here's a Nintendo Switch for you guys. Thank you. Of you course. Of course. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, have a great day, guys. See you guys. All right, bye. <laughs> you know what would be good? I think like a Lego set. Yeah, that'd, that'd be really that's good. That's what I was thinking. Nice Lego set. We'll let you pick, Michael. Get a good one. Who bought me that one? W Dad, bro. <laughs> Come on. He does have that one. Do you recommend this for someone else? Yeah, definitely. Okay. We're gonna grab this one then. Oh, Ooh, a bike. For, for like some little kids. Little yes. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Perfect. I like that, Michael. You got it on your own, right? Oh no. Okay. Buy a PS5. So we got a bike, we got a switch. We're gonna get the gift card. We got the Lego set. Should we top it off with a PS5? Yep. What do you think, Alex? I think someone will be yep. really happy with a PS5 yep. for sure. PS5. Ooh, because we just got a Spider-Man bike. Yep. Let's do it. Hey, Michael, could you tell I've been, you know, hitting the gym? Yeah. -uh. Thank you. PlayStation. Oh, yeah. Appreciate that. Thank you for the help. I want to give you the $200 gift card. Really? Yeah. Thank you for being so nice. I appreciate Thank it. You. Yeah, of course. What's your name? My name is Bones. Bones. Nice to meet you. I'm nice Brian. To meet you too. Yeah, of course. Can you take a picture? Of course. Do you like Minecraft? Yeah. Cool. Right. Hey, we had a gift for you. He wanted to give you something. Since you like Minecraft, we got you a Minecraft Lego set. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Thank Michael and Alex too. Thank you. Yes. Welcome. How about you give away the bike to a kid mm -hmm. and then I'll give away the PS5 collectively from all three of us. Okay, for sure, for sure. Hey guys, so we've been doing some shopping around and we wanted to give away this bike to you guys. Like Spider-Man? Yeah. Yeah. That's perfect. That's even better. <laughs> Here you go. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, thank yeah, I appreciate you. it. Of course. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Hi. I was wondering if you had a PS5. No. We don't. Well, now you do. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's for you. Thank yeah, you. of course. Uh, you too. No way. Yeah. Nice okay. to meet you, bro. Thank you. All right, yeah, thank of course. You. Have a great day, okay? <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate it. We did it. Complete. Now we need to go get something from the truck. Oh. Okay, while you're whispering something, I'm going to whisper something too. I actually have a surprise too. For Michael. We got him a few gifts because heard he's a huge fan. Alex drove all the way down here. And he said what makes him happy and motivated is seeing his kids happy, so we're gonna do just that. Hi, I was drawn in by the Lucky Charms ad. Okay. Can I try that? <laughs> sure. Wow, thank you so much. That looks amazing. All right, let's do the taste test. That looks big. Mmm. Nah, bro, this is crazy. All right, so they wanna be in the thumbnail. All right, go ahead. Strike that pose, let's go. Jimmy, you just saw a ghost. Oh, yup. Wow. Yum. That's the one right there. Yo, Noah, what'd you get? I got a shake. What'd you get? Lucky Charms. Okay, what did you get? Got a Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. A Sprite from Cold Stone, bro. <laughs> like, yeah, this is cold. I forgot your name. Oh my god. Me? Yeah. Alex. Alex. Yes. Holy That's a truck. Are you serious? Do you want to get a photo with him? <laughs> Dude, that's lit, bro. That's lit, bro. <laughs> okay, no, guys, he's been copying me for the past 20 minutes. Okay, guys, he's been copying me for the last 20 minutes. You messed up. You messed up. Messed up you. Messed up you. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> guys, it's time for the results to see if I'm a certified trucker. We got Michael a brand new gaming chair, and let's just say we got $500 worth of V-Bucks. Okay, so as a truck driver, after all the tasks we've done, you should be gifted with No way! You can take that hat off because now you're a certified trucker. What? Bam. Let's go! I Here we can have that? a free hat. Wait, whoa, no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> hey, yes, thank you so much, bro. That course, means the bro. world to me. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Alright, wait, so now I have something for you guys, okay? You like seeing you your kid happy, it. right? Yeah. That's that's your drive every day, every day your motivation. Every day. What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean by that? We want to give you a brand new gaming chair. Oh. That's yours. That's perfect for your for your PC that you just got, buddy. Let's go. We got you this gaming chair. How comfortable is it? Very. And I got one more thing. 
So he was asking for something inside Target that I couldn't get him, but I already had them bought. Here's Why so much? <laughs> These are all your V-Bucks, bro. How much? How much was that worth? $500 ah, of V-Bucks. Yeah, yeah. Yup. Oh. Let's go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> thank you, Brian. Of course, of course. Give me a hug. And thank you too, bro, for making my kids day. It makes me happy. That's, like, a, I'm that's getting, what I do I'm getting for. emotional right now, bro, but like, yeah. like for real, dude, like, you made and this I really, day. And I really wanted that's, to that's worth it. That's worth everything in my book, bro. I so. appreciate you, bro. Yeah, thank you for real for just showing me like a day in your life and, you know, taking me in your truck. Doing all the stuff that we did today was so much fun. Yeah, like, it it's, it's a day that I won't forget. It's going to be a day he remembers forever, too. Hey. That's why I say thank you, bro. Yeah, of course, man. That's something he's never going to forget. Dude, there's, there's still stuff that I remember when he was that young. Thank you, bro. Of course, bro, of course. The road of life may not always be smooth, and at times, things can even seem a little bumpy. But what I admire about Alex is something that I like to preach as much as possible. That with love and passion in your heart, you can get to anywhere you want to go. You just got to hang on tight and keep on trucking till you get there.